Busy.com. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with John Goslin on the red carpet. He's going to be taking the stage at the Untamed Mail Review Show right here at the Dust Complex at Caesars. We're going to show you the footage, but I had a great time with our interview, and people should check it out, right? Thank you. I had an yeah. awesome time, and this is Whitney, and I'm back in AC. He's back, guys. Thanks for watching. So we're just sitting around one day, and I'm like, well, I want to have my birthday party at dusk. I'm like, okay, we're going to afford it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, we'll just run a promo and see what happens. Okay. And Ant's like, what kind of promo? I'm like, I have an idea. And he's like, you are, are you willing to do that? I'm like, sure, why not? So Untamed Men is part of the Dust Complex. It's the show before the show, before the club opens. And it's just another brand that's tied to Dusk. So, you know, Kevin, I have to mention his name yeah, because he's, he's like a huge part of, you know, Dusk, obviously. Um, was like, all right, let's sit down and let's figure it out. Yeah. And then we started going through a lot of stuff. And I'm like, how are we going to get this out here? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I have another idea. So I was like, I went to two magazines. And it was really weird because I went to In Touch first and I did a story. And their online and their print media are different. Okay. So I sent it to print media and they sent to online and they like ran the wrong story. And I was like, that was really nice, guys. It's a great puff piece. It's great, but not what I wanted. Okay. So then I was like, well, I'll go to Us Weekly and see what they do. And then AMI bought Us Weekly the day I sent the article and, and the flyer and stuff. And they're like, office closed in LA. So I was like, oh my God, this sucks. I'm like, that's it. I'm tweeting it. So I tweeted it and then it went everywhere. Yeah. This is not a buck list thing. This okay. is to help out everybody. <laughs> so I like, like put my ass on the line okay. to like help out everybody. Senate, Dusk, AC, bring back people to AC. You know, it could be it could be presumed as a publicity stunt. Yeah. But look, we're all on the carpet. We're yeah. all here now. Okay. So let's no, I I had to lose weight because I have to lose weight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you would know? you have done this if you didn't lose weight? Uh, yeah, probably. Really? Yeah, I don't care. So how long? I'm like the Asian Seth Rogen. <laughs> You have, you know, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I'm a little shorter. Um, I had a lot of practices here and then to go through the routine just to get comfortable okay. being on a runway and stage and stuff like that. But I pick it up, I'm a clown. And Anthony knows that, Soho knows that. Once they get to know me, because I go to all the gigs and they're like, yo, man, you're not a party. I'm like, I do. It's a big problem. So before I did anything, I show them the flyer. My mother's like, oh my God. And she is here somewhere. She probably won't go to camera, but she was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, no, I'm not kidding you. I told my kids and like how it all is going down and they're all in on it. Okay. And then I, I had to tell like other people, like attorneys and because, you know, I have custody yeah. and like, it's like crazy, you know? <laughs> so they're all in on it too. So okay. everything's good. No one leaked anything. No stories have gotten out there. Good, so good, good, it's really good. Oh, something you don't know about me. Well, I'm not eating carbs. <laughs> I could probably outdrink all of you, though. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a great talent. <laughs> oh, I make my own sushi. Really? Yeah. I like I like crab stick, crab stick and a little scallion, little carrot. Um, it's all in the rice. It took us forever to perfect it. So this Christmas I got this the the bazooka, the sushi bazooka. So it'll make my life so much easier. So I I have like a lot of pitches with reality shows. I have a lot of talking. Um, my manager's talking to a lot of people. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm pretty much slowly moving from DJ to promotion, okay. which is, I like the sales game. I like the marketing side of it and that kind of thing, talking to people. Okay. Where DJ, I'm not, I'm no value in the booth. You know, if someone wants to take my picture, I'm like, hold on, spinning a record, you know? Uh, yeah, so okay. it's not, I can't do both. Okay. So I decided like maybe I'll start emceeing more with Senate and going to bigger shows and doing more promotion and guest appearances and helping on the marketing side. I'd like to end up anywhere where the party is, I guess, Miami, Vegas. I mean, I have obviously already been there. Um, I've had some Republic pool parties and I've done some stuff out there. Um, but that was all my TV life. So this is kind of like, it's the same but different. Yeah. It's always good to step out of the box, what you want to do, like travel or go somewhere exotic or go somewhere where it's where people are really poor and see how another world lives because then you'll appreciate America a lot more. So I've lived in Switzerland and I've lived in um, France and all these kind of things and all these different places and I've seen how different people live and it makes me appreciate living in America. Uh, I want people to think that I'm open money, I'm caring, a father. I, I think of my family first before I do things, you know, so 
whatever critics say or the, listen I ran it through the people that love and care about me yeah. before I do anything okay. you know so it's not as bad as people think it is or what was written about me